And joining me now is Lucky from the band Curtis. Lucky, good to have you with us. Man, it's great to be here. I gotta tell you, um, the response to uh, Curtis's music on 103 and on the Wolves Only has been phenomenal. You have an amazing fan base. Man, I, I keep hearing that that the response is coming in like that. And it's just, it's mind-boggling. We've, we've had people wearing up the website. Uh, we got on check the other day, and uh, more than half the requests on 103 were for Curtis, and that just, it's just awesome. I now, love it, love you, the fans. You guys are in the studio right now, preparing to uh, kind of try to get something going with the labels, try to get a deal and get your music out there to the masses. How is that going? Yes, sir. It's going great, man. We got a we got a killer band. Uh, everybody's great live, so it's it's been pretty snappy in the studio. Um, guys are doing doing everything they can right now. Just uh, we we're about to finish up and. Hopefully the labels will be ready for us because we're dang sure ready for them. Talk about what you do with Curtis and with the other members because there's three lead singers and then there's a whole bunch of musicians who play. Tell us a little bit about the band and who the major players are. Uh, yes, sir. I, I play rhythm guitar, uh, play acoustic, play electric, sing harmony, sing some lead. Um, I sing just enough lead. I got well for starters. I'll tell you a little bit about Brian. Brian's our lead singer. Brian's got an amazing, incredible voice. He's great live. He records great, but a lot of times you'll get an artist that records great. And you go see him, and you're just kind of like, ah, you know. Brian's not like that. When Brian sings live, he kills it. Kills He's an entertainer. It. He's an entertainer. He kills it every time. And I sing just enough to where when I'm done singing. He gets back to Brian and you're like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm glad he's here. <laughs> Tell us about the song we're going to play from Curtis tonight. And I want to remind you, if you're interested in finding out more about Curtis, it's K-U-R-T-I-S music.com on the internet. Yes, sir. Y'all all go check us out. and We'll be playing Tuesday. Yet again, at the Billy Block Show. The Billy Block Show. Well, well, I'll tell you what, let's give away another pair of tickets to caller number 7 at 737 1033. You guys are headlining and playing the 10 o'clock slot this coming Tuesday night at 12 o'clock. And you are the writer of this song we're going to play called Favorite Time of Day. Tell us about that. Yes, sir. Actually, um, this, this song is one of those stories that you, that you hear that almost doesn't make sense. I, I woke up in the middle of the night singing this over and over and I couldn't sleep because it was running through my head, the chorus, the whole chorus. So I picked up my cell phone, I hit the voice record and I laid the whole chorus down on, on my cell phone. I woke up the next morning groggy and grabbed my cell phone and was like, man, I, f I feel like I... I feel like I wrote something in my sleep last night. I got it's like a dream up. Or something. It was like a dream. I got up and I, I shook, you know, shook it off, and I took a listen to it, and I, I woke woke me up immediately. I was like, man, this is great. So I called my mom. She drove over, and my mom's an incredible songwriter as well. And uh, she sat down with a pad and a piece of paper, and, and just as quick as she could write it down, it was done. Ten minutes later, she came over and gave me a big hug, and she was like, well, congratulations, you just wrote a hit song. Well, let's let everybody hear it. I love the story behind the song. We're talking with Lucky from the band Curtis. This is their song, Favorite Time of Day. And uh, we're going to give away a pair of tickets to see Curtis. Be called on number 7 now. 737 1033. You're listening to the Billy Clark Show, broadcast live from Tootsie's on 103.